Hi guys and welcome to Solar FPV, my name is Anas and um, I haven't made an update or anything in a while so I thought I'd make a little channel update and uh, also walk you through uh, my uh, homestead um, just so you get a look at what I've been up to so the weather is absolutely amazing it's been amazing for for weeks now and go away wasp anyway um, and there was a wasp that wanted to be on YouTube good for the wasp so I've been um, gardening a lot because of the good weather because I have a garden and that needs to be tended to as well and um, I have been flying a bit but mostly line of sight with uh, micros something like this uh, and then I've been uh, changing all my battery leads and these ones I have quite a few of these drones to the solid pin uh, 2.0 connector um, or one point is it? Yeah, 2.0 uh, JSTs, and that's pretty much what I've been up to. But as you can see, I mean, absolutely amazing weather. It's springtime in Denmark, and it's time to do some gardening. So I'm just going to turn the camera around and show you what I've been up to. Uh, and then, whoa, oh, almost tripped over my solar panel wire here. Anyway, so I've been, uh, this is like, uh, the entrance part of my homestead don't know if you can see it properly but uh, I've got a nice fat boy um, and a palm tree that I've been tending to for three years that comes inside in winter time also have a citrus bonsai that I'm working on and that's three years old now I've gotten everything ready to plant tomatoes here um, I don't know what that's just earth and some pots anyway I've got mint that's sprouting now. The other mint, I don't know what happened to that. So we've got I've got chili plants that I've been seeded, and now I'm just gonna wait and hopefully they'll come up. But everything seems to be coming along very nicely here in the garden. I'll take you into the outside patio, which looks really good. Um, still needs a lot of work though. I've got to yeah just shine everything up and uh, move things around. I have a lot of junk in the garden that I need to throw, excuse me, throw away. But otherwise it's looking very, very nicely. Um, things have been planted and things have been seeded. There's the uh, raised bed that I've been working on. I uh, started building it last year and got it finished this uh, springtime and got it filled with uh, compost from my own garden and topsoil. And then I've planted all my spices uh, that I already had in the garden, that were out in the garden outside. Uh, I've planted them uh, in the raised bed. So I've got thyme, I've got uh, garlic, I've got uh, Chinese um, chives, garlic chives, and normal chives, and then some um, spring onion that were in the garden already, that survived the winter. And then I've uh, planted parsley and uh, beans. And then I have this part left now that I don't know what to plant in. Maybe salads. That will be later. It's still springtime. It's um, not very hot, but it's not too cold either. So it's very nice. And my cherry tree is blossoming. And my apple tree is blossoming as well. And that's all a good sign. The tulips are all up. They're looking beautiful. Look at the purple ones in there. It's just very, very nice. So, yeah. Beautiful garden. Everything is starting to sprout, come up and look nice and green. It's uh, always a very cool thing when it's springtime and you can start <coughs> working in the garden. So yeah, this is what it looks like on the outside. Um, I've had to turn over all the earth again this year, of course. There was um, just loads of weeds in the garden everywhere, where you can see there's just empty gray earth now. At the back there, where you can, I don't know if you can see those sticks at the entrance that are poking up. I've got three rows of potatoes already laid. Those are Portuguese green kale uh, plants, gigant, what I think they're called, dinosaur kale and um, they taste very nice and now they're 
flowering because I want more of those plants so I need the seeds and that's you're not supposed to do that but I do that anyway and I've got green kale down there already sprouting that was my old spice bed uh, you can see the empty patch right uh, there and uh, <clears throat> And I've uh, planted uh, parsley there instead of it was t t all the thyme plants were there. So uh, now I've just got it's going to be parsley and chives and uh, ore oregano, and then that bed at the back I'm going to make that into um, asparagus bed with thyme. I hope. Um, still some stuff to do. All those flowers there they're all going to be packed away and moved slowly into this garden here um, <clears throat> so that I get more earth to uh, to plant the crops in and so that it's easier to maintain <clears throat> um, what else can I say <clears throat> it's uh, it's just been really nice to uh, get started again in the garden doing what I also do in my free time uh, now that we have so much free time on our hands due to the coronavirus, then uh, why not spend it just doing some gardening and planting some crops so that I can have something to eat um, in the uh, yeah in the summertime, you know, free food. I, uh, I have some products that are on the way. I also have a product that I am ready to review, and um, that's going to come later, I guess. Um, so yeah that's it for me stay tuned for more fpv and non-fpv related content just general content from this channel and uh, i hope you're having a, a good time staying apart from each other and staying safe and uh, subscribe to my channel comment below and as always fly hard <laughs>